Hello. Welcome to Think Talk Walk. A while ago, I had a TED Talk, Recalibrate Yourself. Recalibrate your reality. And thanks for all the reactions and all the questions. And one of the questions I get a lot is, but how do we start to recalibrate? And I can give you a theory that I think is right, but why do I not give you some examples of people that did recalibrate and have a joyful life? And the two I want to talk about is Jamie Anderson and Daniel Posley. Obviously people that I know very well. And I do this because lately I came across some of their videos, little videos I saw. And I want to show them to you to prove how it can work. So let's be sure that we know that both Jamie Anderson and Daniel Posley, when they were in their early 20s, they came over to Europe to fulfill a dream becoming a pro cyclist. For both, it did not work. So they had to recalibrate, okay? But then what I see today, 20 years later, or even more, you see that they, are, they, they have the discipline and the way to recalibrate constantly. So let's check first the video I want to talk about with, of Jamie Anderson. So Sunday was supposed to be Paris-Roubaix, a race that I absolutely have loved since I was a kid growing up in a small town in Australia. Um, so I thought, what the heck, you know, the race was postponed, but there's something I've never done, and that's actually visit the velodrome uh, in Roubaix. So today, beautiful sunny day in Belgium. I jumped in the car with my friend Bernard Munemann, and we drove down here uh, to the velodrome. So here I am standing literally on this incredible track, um, taking in the atmosphere um, of this very, very special place um, for, for all of us um, cyclists. So amazing, amazing to be standing on this, this concrete right now. Do you see the desire of how he still want to be on that velodrome? So where cycling while doing a physical effort is still a big drive of him? It's, I think it's obvious, isn't it? And the great thing is, he follows up on this. He doesn't dig that away. No, he uses it to be physically fit because he races and he's a, a European champion masters at time traveling, although he's an uh, Australian. But he is doing that and that makes him very happy. And because he's happy, he has a lot of self-confidence to cope with all the changes with all the realities that are changing all the time. Now, let's look at the video I got from Dan climbing one of the climbs there in Colorado. Check it out. There goes Posley and Masterson. What do you think? about climbing a mountain, huh? talking about picking up adventure, a challenge. Well, here again, Dan did not become pro, had to recalibrate. If you see my TED Talk, Hero of Your Game, you will see his history. But now, 2021, in his three days, and he makes three days, he is climbing. And that's real climbing, I mean, in Europe, where, where I live in Belgium, you can only dream of those things. You see him, it's a challenge. And the way he talks about it, he needs that challenge. He needs that physical effort to feel happy. He feels happy because of that. He has self-confidence and because of that, he can really cope with all the changes. And I'm not saying the changes become easy. No, but they become feasible and he is confident. He has self-belief. Remember, myself, self-belief, enjoyment, leading language, and fortitude, like a Flandrian, a tough, hard guy. So 
I hope those type of videos make it clear that both in themselves need physical exercise, even almost to exhaustion at some points. But it gives them a lot of self-confidence to look at other things in life and discover other things. So my question is, how much are you truthfully following up, full, uh, following up to those type of things that are in your sight? First of all, are you aware of them? Second, do you follow up and do you use them to have an enjoyful life and to find how you can recalibrate your reality? Think about that. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up, share it with others. Keep following us because I said some words that will be key in our next endeavor. And our, that is me, my wife, Anne, Jamie, my two dogs, and even Dan will be part of it. So stay tuned and we'll talk later. Have a great day. Bye.